Hello, Sussex Squad family. Welcome back to Sussex Squadron, the channel where we stand with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle through thick and thin. Today, we have got an interesting story to dive into, a tale of support and a dash of royal drama. So recently, Lady Anne Glen Connor, who happened to be Queen Elizabeth's childhood friend, made some headlines for her comments about Meghan Markle. She called her disappointed by the boring royal life and expressed sympathy for Prince Harry. I think the thing about Meghan was that she had no idea what was expected of her, really. Uh, I think she just thought it was like being another actress, you know, riding around in a golden coach and everything like that. And actually, being a member of the royal family, I mean, I've followed Princess Margaret for 34 years. A lot of it is extremely boring, actually. Now, we have always got Harry and Meghan's backs, and we believe in giving their critics a fair chance to express their opinions. But sometimes, even the best-intentioned critics can get it wrong. Let's start with Meghan's entry into the royal family. It was no fairy tale, that is for sure, and yet she handled it with grace and charisma. The world watched as Meghan embraced her new role, her charitable work, and her blossoming love story with Prince Harry. Meghan was all in. But as we all know, life behind the palace walls was not all sunshine and rainbows. The media scrutiny, the tabloid headlines, and the relentless intrusion into their lives took a toll on both Meghan and Harry. It was at that point that they decided to step back from their senior royal roles and carve their own path. Now, I don't know about you, but I find these comments very offensive and unfair. First of all, how dare she judge Meghan's feelings and expectations about the royal life? She doesn't know anything about Meghan's background, her achievements, her passions, or her struggles. She doesn't know how hard it was for Meghan to adjust to a new country, a new culture, a new family, and a new role. She doesn't know how much Meghan sacrificed for Harry. She doesn't know how much Meghan endured from the media, the public, and the palace. Now, Lady Anne Glen Connor's comments raised a few eyebrows. She sympathized with Prince Harry and claimed Meghan was disappointed by the boring royal life. But was it really that simple? Let's break it down. Meghan's time as a senior royal was nothing short of challenging. She faced discrimination and was subjected to unfair criticism by the media. It's important to remember that while Meghan was committed to her duties, the constant negative attention took a toll on her mental health. Meghan, in her own words, admitted that she was struggling behind the scenes. She didn't just take it lying down. She reached out for help, but it wasn't forthcoming. So, Lady Anne Glen Connor's characterization of Meghan being disappointed doesn't quite capture the whole picture. Secondly, how dare she pity Prince Harry and imply that he was somehow manipulated by Meghan? She doesn't know anything about Harry's personality, his values, his dreams, or his choices. She doesn't know how much Harry loves Meghan and how much he respects her as his partner and his equal. She doesn't know how much Harry wanted to protect Meghan, Archie, and Lilibet from the toxic environment that he grew up in. She doesn't know how much Harry wanted to live a more authentic and meaningful life with his family. Now, let's shift our focus to Prince Harry. Lady Anne Glen Connor expressed sympathy for him, and many of us do too. He's been through a lot, especially with the loss of his mother, Princess Diana. He's someone who's deeply dedicated to his family and his mission to promote mental health awareness. Harry and Meghan's decision to step back from their roles wasn't just about dissatisfaction. It was about taking control of their lives, their family, and their purpose. They wanted to make a positive impact and live an authentic life, free from the constraints of outdated traditions. Now we come to the main event, addressing Lady Anne Glen Connor's comments. While we appreciate different perspectives, it's essential to consider the context of Meghan and Harry's journey. Lady Glen Connor's comments seem to oversimplify the complex issues they faced. What Lady Glen Connor might not realize is that by labeling Meghan as disappointed, 
she undermines the strength and resilience it takes to face adversity head-on, especially in a world that can be incredibly unforgiving. And by expressing sympathy for Prince Harry, it implies that he was passive in their decisions, which is far from the truth. Thirdly, how dare she undermine Harry and Meghan's decision to step back from their senior royal duties and pursue their own path. She doesn't know anything about Harry and Meghan's vision, their goals, their projects, or their impact. She doesn't know how much Harry and Meghan have contributed to various causes and charities around the world. She doesn't know how much Harry and Meghan have inspired millions of people with their courage, their compassion, their creativity, and their charisma. Lady Anne Glen Connor is clearly out of touch with reality and stuck in the past. She is just another example of the old-fashioned and elitist mentality that Harry and Meghan have faced from some members of the royal family and their circle. She is just another example of the jealousy and resentment that Harry and Meghan have faced from some people who can't stand their success and happiness. Harry and Meghan are not victims of anyone or anything. They are not trapped by anyone or anything. They are not disappointed by anyone or anything. They are free agents who have made their own decisions based on their own values and beliefs. They are happy individuals who have found each other based on their own love and compatibility. They are powerful influencers who have created their own brand based on their own talents and passions. Here at Sussex Squadron, we believe in supporting Prince Harry and Meghan Markle not just when they're right, but even when they face criticism. But in this case, it's important to set the record straight and remind everyone that Meghan and Harry's choices were brave and empowering. Meghan Markle's journey from Hollywood to the royal spotlight was a remarkable one, marked by resilience and a commitment to her values. Prince Harry's dedication to making a difference is undeniable, and together they are a force for positive change in the world. So let's not forget the strength and courage it took for Meghan and Harry to redefine their royal roles and pursue their vision for a better world. Let's remember that, just like them, we have a voice, and we can use it to support their cause. That's a wrap for today's video, Sussex Squad. Thanks for joining us in our mission to stand with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Before we go, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell to stay updated with all things Sussex.